Hey, hi people, it is me. <laughs> Why do I say that? It's quite obvious that it is. Oh god, there we have Mr. NPC. It's always the same. Same same clothing, same outfit, exactly the same as every fucking day, but it's his the daily meal, also known as the daily feel clutched. Anyway, oh, oh. um Yeah, I felt like sitting down and doing a video, uh, even though I don't feel great. Whenever I mean, do we ever feel great? No, we don't. We don't. This is just not how it's meant to be at this moment in time. Uh, awakening doesn't mean you feel good at all. The truth hurts. It sets you free, but it fucking hurts. Anyway, um, I'm in a major learning curve and this began just about a year ago when I was talking about the tipping point and then remember guys how I started talking about fast tracking and I started talking about the skill. Do you remember that? You might want to go back and watch those videos but the skill because I firmly believe in all my being that this experience is interactive. It's not something that just happens to us and that we're powerless victims. I think ultimately it comes down to having experienced victimhood because they took away our memory. Well, oh, here we go again. I mean, this probably be a rambly video and it might be a little bit long and it might, I might get interrupted because I'm waiting for the vet to call me. And that's another story, as Rudyard Kipling said. <laughs> um, if I do, my apologies. But not really, why the fuck should I apologise? Do you see what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Wow, behavioural fucking bollocks. I truly believe, I spoke about it, I think, not in my last video, but in the one before that, that it all comes down to this simple fact. You either choose victimhood or you choose victory. I choose victory and I believe that this victory can be attained. It is wrought, created, brought forth from within oneself whilst even in the middle of hell. That is what I believe. Um, I think to that end we awaken, to that end we go within, to that end we strip away all the layers of delusional gaslighty garbage to the that we rise up the spiral path like deep sea divers layer after layer after layer darkness darkness less darkness somewhat less darkness even less darkness will be a light sunshine you name it that that is what i feel that's what i sense deeply i don't like calling it belief because many people believe many things that are completely fucking wrong but this is something very much different than something that's been put into my head and that I therefore believe, which is a program. Beliefs are programs, that's all they are. Now, this is something I know, I feel. Um, but I get ahead of myself. I'm in the middle of going through a situation right now where I'm having to choose victory rather than victimhood. So do it my cat Kismet, I noticed about two hours ago that his left hind leg is very swollen around the joints. He is accident prone, this Kismet, a bit like me. Um, you know, and immediately the dark, the black hand dark generator swooped in and you get that really heavy, fetid sense of fear. It's a particular vibration. It has a particular um, you feel it in your throat and your heart and your guts and it sometimes and it's just really heavy and it's it's really like an implied threat threat like like you know like you're being threatened like something really terrifying is going to happen and you're going to be totally ripped apart and destroyed and annihilated sort of feeling um a couple of days back there was a problem with the car and it was exactly the same and I stood my ground and I said no I will not go into catastrophizing which is what you're supposed to do the program says 
now is the time for you to be absolutely paralyzed by the fear, petrified by the fear, black hand, right? Um, because that, and, and then start to imagine all the worst case scenarios. That's the only way to deal with this, and that's the way to stay safe. That's the way you have to be in the Matrix. That's what Mr. Matrix wants from you. Be afraid, be afraid, be afraid, be afraid. Everything that is happening now happens to that and to keep you in the vibration of fear. This is what traps you and keeps you, your consciousness, your power, your magic, creating this per perpetually. Right? Um, and there's far, far more to it than that. But it is, I've written again, I've, I've made many, many notes. Anyway, so uh, the car wouldn't accelerate, and there was a little thing on the dashboard switching, like, and took it to the garage. And he said, Right, it's cool. He said, Leave it with me. I, I thought he was an NPC, but he's a normie, and he has good days and bad days. You know how that goes with these types of people. So I'm like, All right, good day, brilliant. So I left it with him and I went to sit in the graveyard, which is right next to it. <laughs> and I, I was there and I was in the sun and I'm, I'm just like, I felt this fear and this worry and this agitation that Mr. Matrix clearly wanted me to wallow in and to go with because it's the comfort zone. It's very, it's not, comfort, it's not comfortable at all. It's fucking torture, but it, it's how you've been trained to think and feel and be and exist here. I'm like, no. I was like, okay, it's it's electrical. It's something electrical and it's minor. Turns out it was something electrical and it's minor. Brilliant. But I was in there. I was in there in the in the um in the graveyard and it's a very old graveyard and I happened to look you know, that it was like it was this 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 experience was quite profound, right? Because it was like you have a choice to make, Anika. You can either choose victimhood, catastrophize, imagine the worst case scenario, feel like they're all doing it to me, I'm a powerless victim, feel all that hate, all that rage, wallow, go there, exist there. That's your known, that's your known, that's the lands you've you've lived in. You can do that, or you choose the unknown. And it was like that. It was like, no, it's something electrical. It's going to be very minor and easily fixed. And it's fine. Everything is going to be just fine. And that is exactly what happened. And I chose that and brought it forth from within me. It was quite profound. Very good. And I'm doing again the same with Kisma because something tells me it's like, it's probably a bite. Because he's not in any pain. He was chasing his own tail. I mean, he's 13, but he thinks he's three and he's amazing and I love my angel and he's chasing his own tail and he was running around and he's eating and he's absolutely fine it's just that his hind leg is swollen it's got like a swollen ring around the joint and I'm thinking again it's not serious it's going to be fine I will call the fat they will call me back and it will turn out to be not a problem let go trust in the power of the good which lies within you, all of that. It, it, I have a process that goes through, but anyway, so that's what I'm doing, and that's where I'm making my stand because I choose a victory, not victimhood. And that is where I'm going now. And that is part of what I call the skill, right? We're surrounded by these soul people, normies, or people that are slightly awake but haven't gone within yet that will tell you that life is cruel, evil, bad, and full of demons and shit and nastiness and that you're powerless and there's nothing you can do uh, and that you this and that and ooh and ah and it's all bullshit, I just, I'm not doing it. Anyway, so I'm in the graveyard and I've just had this experience where I'm choosing light and I'm choosing victory and I stand with myself, self-support, self-love and the black hand is doing all this, you need to be afraid, you need to be afraid, you need to imagine all kinds of horrible shit's gonna happen and you're fucked and the car's go, ooh, and it's the engine, it's this, it's that, and it's like, no, no, I'm not doing it. And I felt quite serene, I was like, no, it's just something electrical, it's no big deal, it's gonna be fine. Right? This is an opportunity for you to practice the skill. That is why this has happened. You are powerful, you've got this. And I, I looked at scans, and there on the gravestone, it said, I fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I kept the faith. And then right behind it is another gravestone, which I have noticed before. And it says in big letters, temperance. 
which I've spoken about temperance before. This is a card in the major, it's a major arcana card in the tarot. Temperance is the true consciousness. True consciousness, light, is infinite. It's all powerful. It's all present. It is everything. You know, you get these new age owls. Oh, it's nothing. We are nothing. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you are nothing. You are nothing. This is true because you're an NPC. <laughs> but we are everything. See, this is why I know evil is not, it's not something we need to really be afraid of. It's done a really, really clever number on us, gaslighting. Somebody who is truly whole and powerful has absolutely no need to abuse, to mistreat, to lie, to gaslight, to manipulate, to obfuscate. Nothing like that. There's no need for any of that. Evil, at the heart of it, is brokenness. It's a brokenness, a woundedness. And I have sensed this for a long time now. This is difficult for people to go, especially if you're still in the victimhood thing. If you're still in the victimhood thing, you're going to be full of hate and full of rage. This is actually self-hate and, you know, and self-attack and self-abuse, a lot of it. It really, really is. It's very hard because we have been badly, badly, badly used here. Absolutely. This entire experience has been utterly fucking demonic, sadistic, fucking appalling, whatever. Bad. And part of your awakening is to work through all of that. And you will feel like a victim. You will have to deal with all these programs. Uh, and one of those, the biggest one, I believe, is evil always wins and there's nothing you can do. Evil is all powerful. Well, I know that not to be the case. Um, whenever you have, say, Neptune aspects, you know, astrologically going on, um, to do with Mercury or the Sun and Pluto as well, you, you tend to feel that uh, Chironic energies as well and Black Moon Lilith energies as well can feel that way very, very much. But it's an illusion. It's a carefully crafted gaslighting illusion. Um, and that's really all that evil ever had. It's our compliance that, and, and it, it gains our compliance through trauma-based mind control. But ultimately, ultimately, soul travelers, soul beings are always on the outside looking in. This is a, a temporary experience. Our, our consciousness went click out of alignment so that we could have this experience of duality. Let's see what that's like, yeah. Mm. And there is a fail-safe mechanism. Uh, and I'm not at all worried about, oh, we must get out of the majors and this and that. And when I, uh, you know, I'm like, um, <laughs> but yeah, I fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I kept the faith. Temperance. And then later on, it was like making light work of waste and optimum solutions and blah, blah, blah. You know, and that was, that was cool. Um, there's this saying, no, no, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you need to be afraid, you need to be afraid. You're going to get punished, you're being cocky, you're being defiant, you're going to get done, you're going to go, oh, they're going to come for you now, you've done it now, something terrible's going to happen. Um, I know what this life is, I know what it, what it has been, and in, all in my other, my, oh, oh, good. all my other incarnations have been one way or another, the same. Um, I've been for a hell of a lot, and I've been, I've known dreadful, dreadful, dreadful fear. Fear so bad that I couldn't walk, I couldn't, my legs wouldn't work, it's like my legs were buckling. Um, but I faced it all down. I faced it down. I'm very good at feeling, and I will not be, I will not be just, I will, I just won't. I won't be kept down, I won't, I just won't do it, I can't, I won't, I won't, I won't. Um, and 
light comes from within the darkness in this sense that you you start to understand the intrinsic truth that power does true power does not need to abuse manipulate steal kill um gaslight lie whatever it, it's no need for any of that because true power is infinite true power creates effortlessly is everything knows everything and our true self is that but we have as it were f um split off of that not entirely split off there's always an umbilical cord connecting us to our true self of course our true self has always been at the helm of this it's like it's never let us go that whole scenario though of oh, i've been rejected and i'm all alone in hell is kind of what evil is you see it really just is it evil is self-hate these these creatures that you see on the external doing these dreadful insane things are filled with self-hate absolute self-hate um it's like uh, dan andrews over there in oz that man and there's not just one of him there are several i've seen about four or five different versions of dan andrews and they all look a tiny bit different you know um it's like a posted an image of the four Bidens on my community page because nothing whatsoever on the external is what you think it is all right it is not at all what you think it is but these entities are playing the actors in a way uh, these holographic entities or as they project themselves into this virtual hellscape um, they play, I mean, the, 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 yeah, Prince Harry, all, the, all these, all these, the, the, the royal families and the politicians. And it's like, oh, that's a different Boris Johnson from that one. And that one's different from that one. It's like, it's all complete. And not our, they muddy the waters to make them seem deep, but deep. But evil is like the, 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 that snotty nose, like Dan Andrews. Whenever I see Dan Andrews, I'm reminded of this slightly overweight kid. Uh, and he's got really bad acne and bad breath and nobody likes him because he's a fucking asshole, right? And he's a bit mean and everybody fucking hates his guts and he's always on his own, right? And then, and he's always having his head shoved down toilets and having his ass kicked, you know, because he's just such a fucking whiny little motherfucker, you know? And he's, he's not, he's not the kid that gets bullied in school because they're great, because they're funky and because they're different. So all the demon NPC kids are fucking bullying them. No, no. This is like your, everybody just knows like there's something just wrong about you, Danny, right? With your fucking snow, what's all that green shit coming out of your fucking nose? And why are your teeth like that? And why are your eyes like that? And why do you stink? Why do you shit your pants every day, Danny? What the fuck is wrong with you, asshole? We don't like you. And they grab the back of his neck and they shove his head down the toilet and stuff because, well, yeah but he grows up and he thinks right i'm gonna get my own back now <laughs> anyway um so i'm here going through this uh waiting for the vet to call um see mr matrix will really really try to agitate you back into i am a victim scenario by me calling that and it takes forever and ever and ever for somebody to pick up the phone it's this trolley dolly right you would have a certain way of talking you know your trolley dolly npc demon i think there are season series sorry series six can't remember exactly but you know it's all like whatever and then they tell you you need to call another number so i call another number where i had another fucking and then she tells me, oh, you have to go online to fill out a form uh, because we need to know exactly blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, sorry, love, I haven't got any internet at the moment, which is a complete lie. But I told her that because it's like, fuck off, do your fucking job. Oh, well, I'll have to fill it out then. <laughs> Fine, you go ahead and do that. That is what you paid for, after all. And then it's like, well, the vet will call you um, in the next five days. You know, and I'm like, wow, really? Um... And 
all of these are baiting tactics, you see. Bait, 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 bait. Get upset. I want you to get upset. I want you to get upset. I want you to get angry. But I don't feel upset and I don't feel angry, funnily enough. I did feel it for about five seconds and I thought, ah, Anika, be aware. No. They're baiting you. Don't go for it. The baiting and the mocking, the mockery of it all is just unbelievable. But I'm here and I'm like, no, it's going to be okay because that is what I choose to manifest. So let's see where that goes. Yeah, I'm going into the unknown. I'm going to think that way, feel that way, be there. That's what I fucking well choose. And if it all blows up and blue and are as the dark generator is telling me, and I always agitate it, so it really doesn't like me going there. So that in and of itself puts the point to me. Fucking bug motherfuckers with their fucking noisy fucking cars. What the fuck? See, now that triggers me a bit by it. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, that it means we're going to walk through life or I'm going to walk through life all zen and like, ah, oh, you know, because no, no. Um, I like to blow off steam. Anyway, so I wrote it all down, you see, because I was listening to one of my favourite songs this morning by uh, the Rolling Stones, Sympathy for the Devil. And I've always liked that song a hell of a lot. I don't know why. I especially like the guitar bit at the end, but it's a great song. Um, because, you see, this is what they do. They give you an idea of what evil is, what it looks like, what it, how it behaves, what it is intrinsically. And it's like, no, 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 no. What you're talking about here in Sympathy for the Devil is you're talking about the trickster element. You're not talking about evil. You're talking about the trickster element. You're talking about the Uranus factor, not your anus. What the fuck's wrong with you, pervert? Uranus, 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 what the fuck? Anyway, um, Loki, you know, Loki, Norse mythology. Loki is the trickster. Coyote is the trickster. We, a fox in Celtic mythology is the trickster. It's that unknown element of which we are going to be experiencing a hell of a lot more and Uranus is very very much at play now this is this the, these are the times that we are in and Uranus reminds us that rather than accepting everything at face value and choosing to be powerless victims we should try and look at it from different Angles. And one of these angles for me today is this. Now, yesterday I heard ambulances up and down all day long. A friend of mine, I think I told you guys this, works in a health food shop and there was a guy there, he's um, a pastor. He says he's never had to conduct so many funerals. Busy, busy, busy. Now, the people that are choosing to have the Jabberwock or Rooney, whatever, are people that are either the NPCs or they are normies that are not awake and don't want to waken up. They don't want to awaken because they still want to do the whole, I don't know, 3D hellscape. Um, it's entirely up to them. But these are your people that believe, Mr. Government is our friend, that the, the, the police, the army, the, the, the government, the system, the system, whatever, you know, the, the drones. Um, here's the thing. Evil is not self-sufficient, right? In this fake holographic simulation, whatever the fuck this is, who really knows? Evil needs minions to do its work. You know, it's, um, it's, um, what's the word? You know, it sends out its minions. Uh, you get your bureaucratic minions, you get your police minions, you get army minions, 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 minions. It's like in, in Victoria when all that shit in Oz and all that shit was going on. It was like, what the fuck? You know, it was like Robocop on steroids. But all these motherfuckers will have the Jabberoody rock. So they're going to be sickening and they're going to be dying. Uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of them um, drop dead on the beaches uh, just in this uh, 
heat wave, you're right, it wasn't a heat wave, it's just summer, you know what I mean? It's just summer, it's normal, but you know, it's all fear, 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 it's all bullshit. And more and more people, soul people, are seeing through that, which is really good. But, yeah, the minions of darkness, the people that evil can, can funnel itself through to do its work, um, are, are, are all dropping off their perch so you make of that what you will all right because i am not at all gonna feed the the negative timelines if you want to call them that um of oh it's gonna be the zombie apocalypse it's gonna be this and it's gonna be that because no i don't buy that at all what i see is that Consciousness is like a balloon, like a hot air balloon that seeks to rise, to rise, to elevate, to expand, to return back to its original I am everything, right? Um, and all these fucking demonic NPC fuckers or the normies that don't want to wake up because they want to carry on doing the whole 3D, if you want to call it that thing. They are like ballast, you see, like 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 these heavy sacks of sand that they have on the side of the basket under the hot air balloon. So click, click. So they're all, you know, they're being eliminated. Boom, 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 boom. So we rise, um, because that is what I see happening. Because I believe that we have the power to create and manifest. And we are coming out of the dark generator controlled uh, experience and you know taking our power back little by little by little you see and the trickster element Uranus is very much at play in all of this you know with Uranus expect the unexpected i have a lot of uranus i have uranus station in my chart um i have a lot of uranus action in my chart and i'm really happy about that and when it comes to expecting the unexpected um you can pretty much bet your ass that whatever you're expecting is not going to happen because people are like, ooh, ooh, you know, and it's like, well, you know, if, you, if you're worried and frightened of this, that and the other, it's not going to happen because you're expecting it. And, you know, with Uranus, you expect the unexpected, you know. <laughs> and it, it often presents as, shit's happening, shit's happening, bad. <gasps> and you think, oh, it's always bad, it's always negative. But with Uranus, because it's a trickster, and because this serves your highest good... It will always use something that at first presents as negative, the tower, but it will turn it into something positive. So that shit happened with my car and it became something empowering for me. Now this shit's happening with my boy Kiss. It will become something empowering for me. I choose this, right? Um, because, and I wrote this down, evil is actually not self-sufficient it is not funny it isn't quirky it is not colorful it hasn't got a sense of humor at all but it is like that unlikable nodal snotty nosed asshole being bullied in the schoolyard you know damn danny um and narcissism is actually total a total inferiority complex it feels totally incompetent it feels totally worthless it feels totally shit right but it's desperately trying to convince itself of its superiority and for that we have all got to agree to be victims when we stop choosing to allow us to allow ourselves to be victims and in fact choose victory uh i think and we, we really work at that and we take incoming missiles of darkness and turn them into light by standing in our power, by being super aware of what has gone before, how we've done the work, how we've come out of this darkness, you know, it's incredible. Because everything is geared to making you feel like a victim. 
etheric implantation, weaponry, hell can take your mind control because that vibration keeps you trapped in the matrix. It is a, a vibration, it's like a zzz, a certain level, like in zzz, fear, powerlessness, you know. Um, this sense that I can't, because the last yesterday, day before, I mean, it's not as if I haven't been under the onslaught, because I have. But when I am under the onslaught, which I have been perennially, perennially uh, for like seven years anyway, but I really I pay attention, you see. There's a part of me that always sits back and observes, 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 and, and, and you know, makes notes. And I'm basically, I observe evil. I have done all along, all my life. Um... So I know exactly what it is and what it wants, you know, and how it weaves this illusion of it being all powerful. Fear is a very, very strong emotion. Very, very strong. You, you've only got to look at the external to see the power that it has over people. But when you learn to stare it down and stand in your power, something happens, guys. Hmm. Right? That heavy, heavy vibration, it is how we've lived without even knowing. People that are normies, that aren't conscious, are entirely um, under its influence. They live a double life, they live a schizophrenic life, where they are forever doing things to mitigate the onslaught of fear misery, drudgery and desolation that is living in the matrix. Pretending everything is great and everything is fine because they're going on a holiday and you know, it's all a lie. It's all a complete and utter lie. Um, mm, so that's sort of what I'm doing at the moment and it's early days though I do see how everything connects like dominoes click 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 and I've been doing this laying the groundwork the foundations bit by bit by bit like I said it's very slow but it's very thorough so that's where I'm at but another another sort of awareness entered my consciousness and this is something I wanted to talk about a bit as well it's about emotional IQ I was watching this uh, this documentary about Big Pharma. Um, this this is quite a while back, but I remember it very well. And how I think about sixty to seventy percent of humanity now is medicated on psychotropics, and how those psychotropics enter the water supply and come straight out of your tap into your body. It's why I don't drink tap water. Don't drink it, don't cook with it, nothing. Um, and there's a term, akathisia, akathisia, where they give you antidepressants that have a side effect, which they will then diagnose as psychotic tendency. So they'll give you an antipsychotic, which will have side effects, and they'll give you another, something else to, you know, tamper with that, and so forth and so on. So before you know it, you dropped up to the eyeballs and, yeah. Um, they tell you it's an imbalance in the brain, but really what they want is they don't want you to go into your emotions, into your feeling. The minute I stopped taking meds, this is years and years ago, something said stop. And I did. I just stopped. I didn't tape it out. I just, fuck it. And I'm not saying anybody should do that, by the way. I'm not a doctor. I don't give medical advice. But, you know. Um, none of this stuff is good for us and we need to get the fuck away from it because it is literally all about keeping consciousness totally confined in the fear state. The reason that people get depressed is because they're awakening. You will never find a depressed NPC, for example. They don't get depressed because they don't have emotions other than just uh, an envious, a bitter, envious self-hatred projected outwards, really. But, but it's it's the chemical kosh suppressed. Our emotions must be super powerful. Creation 
power. This is how we create by being in a state, an awareness and a choice state of, oh, yes, I can feel the fear and I can feel Mr. Matrix telling me that I should catastrophize and imagine all the worst, terrible, horrible, evil things. And that is the way Mr. Matrix will be happy. And then really, really bad things won't happen. Yes, you'll still have to suffer and bad things will still happen because, you know, that's, that's the way it has to be. And it's good for you. You should suffer because you're bad and guilty and dirty and sinful. But there will be a mitigation factor, yes. Right? And the minute you stop playing that game and say, why am I doing that? Because that's all a fucking lie. And evil is not powerful because why the fuck would you want to do that to anyone? It's just like the whole religion thing and God has been coming up as well. Um, how utterly, utterly disgusting and sick it really is. I mean, God is a, six, a total schizophrenic psychopath. Um, and it's incredible how a lot of NPCs just love their religion. They love it. They love it. They love it because it fits them down to a T. Anyway, but, you know, it, it's akathisia. It, it's very, um, there is a war on emotion and there is a war on expressing emotions. There's a war on honesty and authenticity. All basically the ingredients as well that you need to have healthy, robust relationships with other people, sold people, sold travelers, right? It's impossible, really, um, for the most part, to have healthy, um, circular relationships with people, I find, from personal experience. You will come up against their unwillingness to do their inner work and their trauma and their delusions and it's game over because if if you're dealing with somebody who won't own their crap um you know there's nothing left to be done and you just gotta cut them loose you know you may come up to your own crap as well but if you're willing to work through it then you're always going to be okay right that's all it takes in, in a friendship is for two people to be real, to be honest and to do their inner work and to be committed. But this is very, very rare, I find. Um, and so it, it brings me to how we've been totally manipulated with regards to how we exist in this world, um, how we relate to other people, how we interact with other people. Because when you've been trauma-based, mind-controlled, and when you are trapped in a toxic shame construct, which is part of the mind control, like you're bad and you need to be kind and you need to be nice, you need to be the wounded healer. So, anyway, whatever. Um, you need to, like, abandon yourself as a lost cause, but you need to go out there and fix, fix, fix an unfixable world. This is not a thing that's been coming up for me, by the way, where a neighbor's cat got lost and we were looking for this cat. And I was wandering around the streets, just noticing how utterly squalid everything is. And there were some kids on bikes, with masks on, very demonic. And I thought, you know, this world's beyond redemption. It's finished. And that is absolutely true, guys. And the wounded healer is your person that just totally abandons themselves the, the, their main motivation is evil always wins and there's nothing you can do but they don't want to face that so they keep trying to fix fix other people they have to fix something try something we have to rescue so and so go over there and save the trees and you know whatever and um 
often enough, you know, they're like uh, Extinction Rebellion or Climate Change Warriors or whatever. You know, your rogue individual, often enough, is just that way. It's it's all like, because it cannot be fixed. We need to let it go. That is what we need to do now. If you wanna, if you love nature and you love animals, and you come across a wounded animal, of course, you're gonna help. But what I mean to say is to let go of the idea that this world needs fixing, can be fixed, that this world is real. It's not. It's This world is nothing but a state of consciousness. That's all it is. That's all it is. Um, when your consciousness realigns slowly but surely, the world around you will seem to change as if by magic. I, re I really feel this. That's what walking the sacred path is all about. That's what the spiral path is all about. Um, it's not about band-aids or antibiotics or antidepressants. Mm. It's not about distracting and looking the other way and turning the other cheek. It isn't about that. It's about truth. Cold, hard, brutal, warm, loving, light, truth. That's what it's about. It's about the fact that we're powerful creative beings and that we are going to remember that more and more and more. That we're going to liberate ourselves more and more and more by choosing victory instead of victimhood. It's about letting go and saying, right, Where does my attention have to go? What do I really need to do, want to do? What is my purpose now, here? It is within. Because if you want to fix the world, fix your fucking consciousness. You know? It's... See, and this I wrote down because it's so big, it's so big, it's so big. And I, like I said, I'm a bit rambly and all over the place and the dark generator is really, really at me, really at me. It's like, oh, I can really feel it. It's like the Dementors, you know, it's like, fuck off. <laughs> you are an individual. Your behavioural do's, don'ts, rights, wrongs are not subject to programmes of black and white status quo hive crap. What offends one person will not offend another. You know, um, when I'm, I'm sort of, I'm quite a blunt sort of person, and I'm, I'm finding my feet, as it were, with regards to how to be with other people. Um, but I've always preferred to just call it as I see it, to be just, well, I see it as that, or whatever, I feel like this is going on, or I feel you're, you're doing that for that reason, whatever. I'm straightforward and I'm blunt, and a lot of people don't like that. They don't. They don't want to know, because I trigger people. I've always triggered people. Even when I was a kid, I used to call it out as I, as it, as I saw it, but as it turns out, I was always right, and people used to get really pissed off about it. Um... Anybody who cannot handle truth is not somebody worth knowing. Not at all. It doesn't mean they're not sold. It doesn't mean they're evil either. It just means they're not ready for the truth. They may be ready for some truth and then they hit a point where it's like, no, I'm not ready for anything beyond that. Whatever. Okay. Um, but, you see, you speak your truth to somebody and that person will turn around and they'll get really, really vicious and verbally abusive because you've hit, you've hit a note. You know, you've pushed the button. There's always that red alert, red alert, you know, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it's like, that's it. You have to walk away. There's nothing more to say and there's nothing more to do. And, you know, that's it. But you'll feel like um, apologizing and taking on the burden of guilt. Oh, it must be my fault. I've upset them. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said this. I shouldn't have called your names. I shouldn't have said that. Blah, 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 blah. But no, no. The correct response is to recognize that this particular friendship has gone as far 
as it was going to go um, nothing more to be said this is why a lot of our friendships don't last that long because you might be over there they might be over there you've left like i said in my last video you the, the journey is the journey but you may have left three days before said person whatever you know um it's a complex fucking thing rights and wrongs and do's and don'ts and whatnot and whatnot and whatnot and so in the middle of how 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 who, who, toxic shame dark generator uh exhaustion depression anxiety fucking wanting to please people wanting everything to be okay oh i'll say whatever i'll grieve it whatever as long as everything is okay because oh god i can't handle i can't handle the anxiety um that keeps you caged in the rooster coop there's a really great book called the white tiger if any of you feel inclined to do so read that book it's written by an in aravind adiga i think it is i'm not sure where is it is it over there yeah just a minute guys yes it is aravind adiga ouch motherfucker the white tiger this is a fucking good book. It's, it's fantastic. You've got to read it. He talks about the rooster coop. It's all set in India. In the darkness. <laughs> um, the rooster coop, you know, it's everybody in India. The, the really, really poor people are all in the rooster coop. They have many children and they send their sons and their daughters to work as uh, domestic helps or drivers for the rich the, the powerful landlords of their villages um, and these landlords treat their sons and daughters like absolute fucking shit i mean fucking appalling but they put up with it and put up with it and put up with it and they're all bowing and scraping and oh yes sir and of course sir and naturally sir and fuck me up the ass sir because they're in the rooster group fear 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 because if they do anything that pisses off the landlords the landlords will just go back to the village and murder their entire family right but uh, in this this story the white tiger he, he does he does exactly that he says enough is enough and i said fantastic there's a film of it on on netflix if you're not into reading just watch the film it's really true to the book the white tiger is called it's fantastic it's really really good um because when it comes to narcs npc demons they will always and often enough you meet them and they're like your friends and you think you've really got a connection but you'll soon work out that no 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 you may have gotten it wrong your 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 initial feeling would have been okay something is not right about this person can't put my finger on it but it ain't right but then you second guess yourself you do get involved and blah it happens all the time um you know, and with, with a lot of you, you're people pleasers, you know, you really just are. You need to get out of that because it's it's really, really harmful to you. It's so harmful. I, I don't really do it very much now, um, but it's hard when you fall out with people because it's very stressful. When you've been gaslit and you know there's gas you, you always know when you're being gaslit because it feels weird and fugy and it's like well this doesn't really quite make sense when you said that because at first you're like you're like oh oh maybe i got it wrong and i i've hurt this person's feelings and you feel bad about it you know and you feel uncomfortable but then you stop you said right okay hold on a minute right you stop and you sit down and you go over it bit by bit frame by frame and you realize that you're being gaslit that the story doesn't add up and that what they did isn't right you know if you hadn't dismissed that offhand as being something not worth watching or listening to or doing or saying or whatever then that and that and that and that would never have happened but the fact that you did dismiss that shows me that actually you're not a very nice person mm. and um 
it's it's weird it's like whoa who are you it, it, this happens to us all the time you know we're we're constantly um made to to doubt ourselves it has such a massive vested interest to weaken us perennially weaken you weaken you weaken you make you doubt yourself make you go back flee for your life back to the toxic shame prison i am bad i'm so bad i'm so bad oh i better make amends even though you've done nothing wrong you know it's mad you're not bad you're not guilty you do get it wrong um but you actually don't get it wrong nearly as often as you think you do it's perfectly okay to get really really angry when somebody has fucked you over when somebody has not appreciated you when you've been good to somebody and they've stabbed you in the back right when somebody has used you when somebody has lied to you when somebody's trying to gaslight you <laughs> you know um in all of this insanity, in all of this chaotic, gaslighty garbage, there's one true north that you can rely on, and that's your true self, and that's your intuition. Trust it. Something feels off, someone feels off, walk away. Don't get involved. But if you do get involved and they fuck you over and they make you feel like it's your fault, then it's probably not your fault. I know true soul travelers true soul travelers are honest are authentic and we're always willing to work toward a resolution we're always willing to get together and talk about it and and you know and say yeah you know i find um with the very few soul travelers that i like my best friends um another person you know yeah it's it you can work it out you work it out but with others, this is, you, no, because they won't own their shit and so you can't work it out because we're not going to take responsibility for thin, things that we haven't done. Um, it's just bullshit. It's very, it's very, it, it's tough as fuck to honor yourself and to stand firmly in your own power because that's not going to look and feel at all the way that you're used to being in this world. No. You're no longer... You're, you're no longer... Um, putty in the hands of, of Mr. Matrix and his minions. And, and that includes normies and people that just don't want to do the work. And, and you know, people that want to use you. People that want to take from you. That want to abuse you. that Or... or I don't know, there, there's so many different ways and forms of abuse and, and taking and parasitism. And people do it often enough without even being aware they're doing it. For whatever reason, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. But your intuition, I think, will tell, and your emotions will tell you this is wrong I don't like to be treated this way and that's the point that you either see if you can resolve it if that doesn't work you walk away if your intuition says don't even bother getting back to them because you're just going to get more abuse and you're just going to get more accusations of behavior that you don't actually even engage in gaslighting abuse don't bother walk away walk away I would say because mostly that's just how it is um, honesty Honesty is seen as abuse by most people because most people I, I've posted this on my on my community page and and it just is the truth People out there people Don't communicate properly. They don't communicate in light and in truth and in authenticity. They communicate manipulatively gaslighty dishonesty dishonestly uh, people either want to just keep the peace at all costs, very, very harmful to self. Um, you will attract a shitload of fucking trouble and nastiness that way. Um, I used to be that way a bit. I, I, you know, I mean, there's been, 
yeah I've, I've always been a, a bit of a mixed bag I guess because I've I've always in the end stood my ground when it became blatantly obvious but I've also been a people pleaser yeah and it's very um I used to get a lot of people coming to me that started talking at me about all their problems all their problems and I add you, add you, add you, add you, add you, all their fucking problems. Oh, my husband is my boyfriend, that my mother is my, oh, all the shit, all the shit. You can't get a word in edgeways. They saw me and they knew straight away, oh, there's a wounded healer, empath, soul traveler, and yeah, I can just dump all my shit on them and take all their life force because that's what they do and that's what they want. I don't get that anymore now. Now, I get the veiled hatred because they can't do that anymore. You know, it's like, it's my power, you're not having it, fuck off, I see what you are, bullshit. <gasps> um, but you see, when you've been made to feel guilty and shamed for just intrinsically being here, existing, it, it takes a while to start to come emerge emerge at a level where you understand that you are allowed to be who you are that there are things you like that there are things you don't like and then there's all kinds of shit in between that you know um this this is a kind of um individual thing this isn't like well this is how we behave this is good this is bad and that's all there is to it because it isn't like that that's hive, that's fake persona, and that's bullshit, guys. Um, I'm nowadays quite fast, quite fast, quite quick in cutting contact with people. When I decide that I've not been treated the way I want to be treated, I will call it a day. If my intuition tells me that this is not going to resolve itself because the person... Um, on the other side here doesn't want to take ownership and hasn't you know just I know when somebody's projecting their shit onto me I know when somebody is a liar and has gaslit me I know when somebody isn't fair isn't honest isn't ready to be fair and honest and I will walk away because there's absolutely no point in carrying on there just isn't it's not pearls before swine um, I know when people are sold, when their heart is in the right place and they mean well, but they're temporarily lost and I can't, because everything I, I stand for, everything I'm doing, everything I am currently engaging with, isn't gonna, they're not going to understand and it's, it, it's vibrationally unsound, it has a negative impact on me, so I need to temporarily say enough, I can't engage with people it doesn't mean they're bad it doesn't mean they're evil i still care very deeply about certain people much very much but i cannot help them they need to do their own thing in their own way over there you know um all my love goes out to people like that i know they'll get there i know they can i know they will they have everything they need within them but they don't know that yet like i cannot associate with people now that want to remain in the victim state because I can talk to them. I can say, well, it's like this, you see, and it's like that. But putting this into words is, is, is incredibly difficult. And in fact, it's impossible. And I do the best I can with that. But people over there are not going to get that. They're not going to see it. You see, I used to be the same. I don't see these demo demonic scumbag NPCs as having power over me. Because I entirely... Um, I... <laughs> God, I'm really crap with words this morning. It's mainly because I'm really worried about my boy kiss, but do you see what I mean? I'm not sitting here imagining the worst case scenario or anything like that, but I feel this heavy, like, uh, black... I felt it yesterday as well, mind you. And I'm just like, no, I'm here doing this video. And I'm pretty focused, but, you know, this is, this is exactly what it is. It's like when you're a child and you learn to walk, 
it's a bit like that it's all very wobbly in early stages but at least I'm doing it and I love myself and I'm proud of myself for that um, but it's 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 you cannot show people the truth it has truth has to be found on an individual level in an individual way you cannot show people the truth it doesn't work it doesn't work so we're going to lose people and then they will come back into our lives or we just lose people or we, we we stay the course together with some people you know that happens as well but in uh, you know relationships and behavioralism uh, that's not even a word but i just made that up in 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 the arena of relationship friendships um love relationships i'm really keen on that word but whatever you know it's 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 very complicated it's very very complex and it's an interplay but always serves your highest good and you will always work your way through it. There are so many different aspects to it. But you need to ask yourself, what is what do I what do I find acceptable? What type of behavior is acceptable to me? You know, sit down, write it down. Do's and don'ts, whatever. You know? Um some people will be because their experiences in life and their um their individual being is perfectly okay with certain things that somebody else absolutely cannot abide. That sort of shit. It isn't one thing. It isn't hive. It's very individualized. And your emotions will tell you. Because if it feels like crap, then you're not being treated right. You know, if it hurts you, then you're not being treated right. Um... You know, people say, oh, you're too sensitive. I didn't mean it like that. And it's like, well, yeah, you didn't mean it that way, but you really hurt me. So, well, I'm sorry, but that's just woo, and I don't want to talk about it. You're finished. You know, you can't carry on with that then, can you? Because that person doesn't care. They've hurt you. They don't seem to care. They think you should just get over yourself. How many times have we been told that by the narcissist, right? Oh, guys, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it is really complex, but they muddy the waters to make them seem deep. I know that. The maverick effect, the trickster element, revolutions, turning everything upside down, and everybody taking the jabberoonie rocks, all those nice compliance system serving people, you know, all the drones, all those, those fucking, you know, conservatives and liberals and Democrats, you know, all these, all these people that just want to do as they're told and just want to follow, follow the line, you know, and just adhere to the status quo and do as they're told and these are the people that evil needs and these are the people that are taking the Jabberoonie walk so uh, in my opinion and I could be fucking wrong right but in my opinion that can only go for us you know really um, I see a lot of people behaving oddly aggressively a neighbor of mine has had it and she's different she's fucking different she's not the way she used to be um because of the whole my neighbor's cat missing and looking for her i came across her and she had a she never had this before she always used to be warm and she wasn't warm anymore you know she was she wanted me away from her and do you remember my cat Looms and the little one, the black one? They, I got those, I, I adopted those because they used to belong to a transgender individual down the road and very woke. But he used to be okay as well. I mean, I knew there was heavy shit going on, I was very dark, energetic, 
but there was you know some soul there well there is now because I ran into him on my way out and I said hey Zane um, I just wanted you to know that Looms has passed on and he was like <gasps> and it, it almost like he almost jolted it was like whoa he, he couldn't wait to get away from me it, it's like my energy is just literally um, you know has that effect on them and I think that's brilliant I think it's very very good um, all these woke individuals will have had you know the Jabberoonie they will they are minions of evil <laughs> see you work it out guys so um bit of a rambly video but I just felt like sitting down and doing a video um, You know, we're finding, we're finding our true essence, our realness, our authenticity. We're finding what we like, what we don't like, what we want, what we don't want. We're finding that it's good and pure and true to honor our emotions and honor our feelings. That sometimes you have to say goodbye to somebody. Sometimes you have to say hello to somebody. It's fucking terrifying, to be honest. You know, because everybody is afraid of everybody here. People are terrified of each other, you know. People are terrified of themselves and their darkness and their evil and their insanity. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Everything's great, right? So, to learn to, to stand in your own space, and to be guided by your feelings and your intuition instead of your programming. Oh, I need to behave this way, I need to behave that way, and this is how it's meant to be, and that's how it's meant to be. No. To, to be, no, this. This is, this is where I'm at, and this is who I am now, and this is how I feel, and I don't like that. And you did that, and you did that, and why are you doing that? And if they get angry and they don't like it, or, then hey, that's it, the end don't be afraid to lose people right um you will learn not to hold on to you know to the the hatred or the resentment because you know that people are it's all people are at different stages and it's all it's all that way it plays out that way it's it's tough it's not easy god almighty like somehow when you go online, you know, Facebook or any of these sort of social media platforms, you know, it's full, I mean, full of these quotes everywhere. Grotty, semi-spiritual memes that make it sound as if it's all slick and easy. And as long as you say that, and as long as you do that, and as long as you feel like that, and it's actually really manipulative, um intrusive toxic manipulative nasty shit no what's it feel like you need to be in here in yourself ticking away listening paying attention man otherwise you're just going to be on automatic and you're just going to be a fucking battery you always have a choice feel the fear and do it anyway own your shit and stand in your power stand in your power choose 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 victimhood or victory it's up to us it's our choice and that is that moment now it's here it's here you can choose it on that level or you can choose it on that level it doesn't or anywhere in between but you choose whether you're a victim or whether you're a victor you know, they will always try and take it away from you and will always try and make you go back to powerlessness and to be overwhelmed by the notion of evil and its power. But it's a fucking illusion. True power doesn't need to abuse, thief, hurt, harm, kill, lie, gaslight. It doesn't need to because... True power is whole. True power is love and goodness. 
and harmonious, infinite creativity and let's go into the unknown, let's come out of this nasty, dark bullshit and choose vict vict victory, victory now, here, in these small ways, baby steps, let's do that. And it will come at you, evil will come at you and tell you you're going to be punished for that. You're going to be punished. You're wrong. Evil is all powerful. You can't do that. You're going to be punished. Something bad's going to happen. How dare you be defiant? You're being cocky. It will do that. Do it anyway. The skill. The skill. You know? The choice. The skill. I really feel everything is going to be alright, guys. I really fucking do. Things are not what they appear to be. They just aren't. Lots and lots of people, most of them, are not to be trusted, you know. If they're on these alternative media platforms saying, you know, that, oh, look what they're doing now, and look what they're doing, you know, all basically telling you how, how powerful evil is and how afraid you should be, get fucking rid of them. Get rid of them. Don't listen to it, you know. If you still feel like sifting through some of that because you want to keep your finger on the pulse, you're kind of doing it for different reasons, you know. I, I sometimes do that. I go to, say, the David Icke website and have a quick... And I'm like, five minutes, I'm out. I know straight away because it's like, oh, the heavy feeling. Oh, oh, get away, get away, get away. It's all vibrational. I hate to use that word because it's very new age, but I can't really bend with... But it's sounds, you know, streams of sound. I've seen them. It's weird. Um, oh, it's big, it's big what's happening, guys. It's very, very big. All these people are going to be no more. The culling. You could, you could, you could liken it to that story in the Bible, the parable that Jesus told his disciples, I think, about the wheat and the tares. I think that is particularly apt right so you have this farmer who's this really cool guy and he's growing this beautiful crop of wheat and he's sown the seeds you know golden beautiful light seeds and his neighbor a fucking demonic narcissist is all envious and hateful and he gets these black rotten seeds and he sows them amongst the golden light seeds and the good guy the farmer is like he just wakes up and he's like oh what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> and he's like well this is how it is so i'll have to grow the crop the good and the bad are intermingled duality so I will let it let it grow and then when the crop is ready to be harvested I will separate the dead from the living and that is what the Jabberwocky is all about to my uh, my feeling my sense I think it's a good thing I've said that from the beginning I have felt that from the beginning I dreamt about it it told me so very very clearly Everything that serves evil, one way or another, is being taken out of the equation, ballast, clip, 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 and the balloon that is consciousness, that is true, harmonious creativity, can rise. That is how I feel it to be. So, you know, so don't worry about where you find yourself, guys, you know. You are navigating you are a living compass and you know when you're being treated badly because you will feel it and your intuition will tell you and you know that you can trust yourself because you're learning to act on your intuition and you know that you don't have to let Mr. Matrix bludgeon the fuck out of you that you can say no no and it will bait you and it will send you problems I've had plenty of them, but you see, Uranus, 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 the trickster element, the maverick effect is here to show you, this is your true self, showing you the way through, showing you the way through, and even when shit happens, it will serve your highest good, you watch my words, it will, okay, so, right, I'm gonna go now guys and um, you know have spare a thought for my boy kiss and that everything will work out but 
and I will obviously I will update you guys on that on my community page okay I'll let you know what happens with that but something tells me that it's not serious at all and that's all going to be okay and that this is a little um, a little lesson a little opportunity for me to learn to choose victory instead of victimhood and that is an act of self-love Thank you.